When Rick Pitino decides to go with this attack, the three-point shooting, this is pretty much unknown at that time in the late 80s. What was your guys' reaction, and when did that idea to put this plan into a, you know, attack, basically, was that during training camp? When did this idea come about, and how did you guys react to it at first? Well, I think what happened is the press. Mm -hmm. He put that in, and people forget that. We were pressing 94 feet, and so we were opening up the, the floor. You know, everybody talk about pace, but we were at a feverish pace. Yeah. And we, were, we were beating people by 30 one night and lose by 20 the next because we were so <laughs> tired because we had to go out and press again. So I think it started with that. Instead of running to get a layup, I probably was the only one, me and Rod, running to get layups most of the time because Jack was pushing it. But then Trent, he was hitting Trent on the, on the wing, then hitting Johnny on the wing after a steal, shooting the jumper, and then it just became real. And, and that's basically how it started. Was there any reaction from your opposition? You know, Mark, when, when you see, you know, the opposing team, all of a sudden they're looking at guys who are shooting threes at a record rapid rate, what are they thinking and what's the reaction to them on the floor? Well, the funny thing is that not just our opposition, but the media, there were people, because it was new, questioning would this work? This young, fresh coach from college trying to instill a system that had never worked in the league. And there's still people today, might I add, without any basis behind it, saying that Rick Pitino wasn't a successful NBA coach. We were a team that had not made the playoffs for years. We made the playoffs, and we were a threat. Matter of fact, it's documented. We know that teams was technically not tra trying to win games down the stretch, so they avoided playing us with the pressure and the, uh, and the offensive pressure we put on you uh, shooting the basketball. But it was a lot of fun. The toughest part about it for us was – you think about it, practice. He had to face him. I had to face this guy. You know, <laughs> it was a nightmare in practice, so the game was a relief. Yeah. Well, now, Trent, you were the specialist, right, the three-point shooting specialist on the team. And was the idea to sort of gear towards you and make you the, you know, focal point of this offense? Right. It was a great offense for me to play in because, like I mentioned before, I had you know, so many wonderful players around me that allowed me to play the game that I played best. But also it was a big adjustment for me because for my first four years, I played on the Hubie Brown, mm -hmm. played half-court basketball. All of a sudden, now I have a coach telling me that, hey, shoot the basketball when you cross half-court. And I'm looking at him like he's crazy. But, uh, you know, it took me uh, some time to adjust to that. But once I got adjusted to it, and the one thing that we had to do at that time was to get in good shape. You know, like Gerald mentioned, we was pressing and trapping 94 feet every single night. And your body had to get to that, that style of pace so that you could play the game that you wanted to play. Now, Johnny, when you see a team like Golden State or Houston now, I mean, just obliterating the record books in terms of three-point shooting, what's your reaction to that and, and to know that you guys were a part of really the first team that did that? I just put my, my head in my hands, you know, just, you know, being upset because I, uh, like the guys are saying, we had a great group of guys. So if one of us had it going, that we, you know, you know especially Mark was going to find us and, and get the ball to us. And, and now the coaching philosophy is just totally different. I mean, uh, other than Coach Rick Bettino, it wasn't a lot of coaches that really say, you know, go to the line and shoot the three. And now, Pretty much every team tries to rely on the three-point shot. So I just looked back and said, man, you know, it's five or six, seven, eight, ten, twenty teams, you know, that, you know, we could have been very valuable on. 